Aloha, our coffee lovers. Today we are on a mission to find some of the best coffee shops in Oahu, Hawaii. We'll be trying some of the most popular and unique blends and discovering what makes each shop unique. From cozy neighborhood cafes to trendy downtown spots, we'll take you on a journey to find the perfect cup of joe. So let's get caffeinated. Our first stop is at Kona Coffee Purveyors. It's located in Waikiki here at the International Marketplace. And this place is actually rated a 4.6 out of 5 stars on Yelp. So let's go try some. With a line this long, the coffee must be worth waiting for. And look at the selection of freshly baked goods. These all look so yummy. My name is Haley. Hey, nice to meet you. How do you prepare your coffee? So we make these as pour overs okay. every morning. We use the Kalito flat bottom. Okay. Uh, where do you guys get your coffee beans from? Most of our beans are all from Kona. Kona, Colombia, Brazil, and oh. Guatemala. What makes your coffee establishment special? process from the way the beans are grown to roasted and then how we prepare it in the cafe. Oh. What's your favorite? Yeah, what's your favorite? My personal favorite is going to probably be our black sesame queen okay. or the coffee cake. Ooh, let's do the coffee cake. Okay, the coffee cake? Okay. Um, Thank you so much. I Okay, but can we talk about this latte art? It's a freaking unicorn. That's good. Let's take coffee. It's like when you smile after you drink it, you're just like, you know it's good coffee. So we ordered a coffee cake, but it's got blueberries in it. It's really good. It's really good. I'm actually. I got the vanilla latte uh, that the barista recommended and this was honestly probably the best coffee I've had on the island so far. Probably some of the best coffee that I've probably ever had. Uh, as best as I can put it, I'd say that when you have a decanter, that is like what I what I could say is equivalent to. You don't drink this coffee all the time, it's only for like special occasions. Or Shop is Kai Coffee, also here in Waikiki. Uh, it's actually located in the Hyatt Regency Hotel. It's rated 4.5 stars on Yelp, so we had to come check this out. It's also known for having aloha in every cup. our own coffee here. Um, we actually opened up our roastery in Kapahulu recently. All of our coffee is going to be medium roast. I mean, we have a house blend that's strictly for our drip coffee. We have our espresso blend that's strictly for our espresso drinks. And then we have our single origins that we offer as a pour over or French press. Where do you get your beans from? For our 100% Hawaiian coffee, we do source it all from the Big Island, both from Kona and uh, Kahu. Other than that, uh, for our blends, like our house blend and espresso blends, we actually blend it with three other regions, such as uh, Colombia, uh, oh. Nicaragua, and Brazil. What separates your coffee compared to other places? Yeah, like really the quality here is yeah. really amazing. Ice cream at the last place. The Kai coffee. Uh, let's see how it is. Strong. It's good. 
Well, look at it after, after two. So we're just finishing up at Thai Coffee. We're gonna head to our next place. Um, but overall, I thought this uh, coffee was really good, very really strong, which I like strong coffee, so I really liked it. And the baristas were very nice and very um, knowledgeable. Yeah, very knowledgeable, and, and was able to explain to detail how they prepared the coffee and everything, which is great. That's uh, great to know when the baristas know what they're doing, <laughs> not just making the coffee to make it. We're gonna head to our next place now. See you guys there. Our third coffee spot, Arvo. Arvo is located at Sal at Kakaaka. This place is rated 4.6 stars out of 5 on Yelp. I found this place really interesting because on their website they don't talk about their coffee. It's more like for the aesthetic. Um, so I'm really excited to try and see what their coffee tastes like. It's really vanilla latte. It sounds plain, but it's super good. What do you think? Vanilla latte? Yeah. Okay, so, latte. Ice cream. Thank you for Thank you. What do you guys think sets your coffee accomplishment apart from everyone else? Ours is more of the community, so we have a lot of regulars that come in, and I feel like the out of here is very well seen and it's super like cool. Thank you, so they got Brittany. outside of as well, so I think it's the Taylor. environment is what people come back for. Yeah. And our coffee super bomb. So. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, where do you guys get your beans from? We have our beans from a spot in San Francisco. Okay. Yeah, cool. and then we use that. We're just espresso. We have cold brew as well, but we ship our bags here all over San Francisco. Matcha latte. I asked for vanilla in it, but the barista told me that it is already sweet. But it's really matcha y, and I'm not, I'm not a matcha person. But what? I mean, I, I like it, but I just wish it had a little bit more vanilla in it. So we made it to Kahuku Farms up in North Shore. This place is rated 4.8 out of 5 stars on Yelp. So let's go check it out. Kahuku Farms also has a cafe where they serve fresh smoothies, zesty salads, and mouth-watering desserts. Unfortunately, we didn't make it in time today, but we'll be back. You can also see their products and produce at local grocery stores, such as their farm-grown honey and papaya. How is your coffee prepared? I'm not sure the answer to that question, okay. but all I know is that we have a one of a kind blend, vanilla Maui coffee mixed with Colombian coffee. Okay. And we got it specially roasted for us so that it has the right acidity to match with our homemade chocolate sauce. Oh, yeah. okay. We grow cacao here and we make our own chocolate okay. out of that cacao. Okay, wow. beautiful. Awesome. Uh, where do you get your, your beans from? It's from a local company on island. Okay. What separates your coffee shop? What makes it unique? Free, farm grown, homemade flavors we can add. We have a vanilla caramel, vanilla syrup, vanilla hopia coconut, and our farm grown honey. Mm. We can add to any of them. And they're also no extra charge. Oh. The flavors, different melts, all the same price. Wow, yeah. that's awesome. Oh wow, you really taste the chocolate. Like it's not overpowering, like it's it's really good. I don't even know how to explain it. It's almost like a adult ca caffeinated hot chocolate. Mm. Yeah, that's what I would that's what I would describe it as. It is really good though. And to know that the chocolate is grown here. It feels like you taste it more than like your roof of your mouth compared mm -hmm. to actually like your tongue. Here at Kahuku Farms, they grow a lot of their own ingredients. They specialize in growing cacao, acai, lilikoi, papaya, eggplants, and so much more. If you guys are enjoying our coffee fueled adventure, make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button to check out more videos just like this. And if you have any recommendations of coffee shops we should visit in Oahu, make sure to leave that comment down below. We would love to hear from you. Oh,
Alrighty, so we finally made it to the last coffee shop here for the day, Green World Coffee Farm. This place is located in Wahiwa and it is rated 4.6 out of 5 stars on Yelp. So let's go give it a try. I think it's safe to say that this coffee shop is like an attraction when coming to Oahu. They have the cutest souvenirs and coffee bags. They also have a wide range of coffee and tea samples. I did a message. Getting the drink, getting yeah. the end of your shift, what are you getting? What are you getting on the way home? Oh, that's a good one. Um, probably a toasted marshmallow mocha. Let's do it. That's it. Perfect. <laughs> so, I always do ice. Ice. Okay. There Perfect. Go. Perfect. I love this. How is your coffee prepared? Or how is it uh, processed? I, I can help you guys as a general manager. Yeah. I won't do it on Val and I are here at Green World Coffee Farm. Uh, we actually had the opportunity to speak with the general manager. So she, we're gonna ask her a few questions. A little bit different, but we're gonna be on this side of the camera. How is your coffee prepared? How is it processed? We're bringing green beans. Our owner will go ahead and start doing profiles on each coffee. Okay. okay. Um, uh, it really takes the time to try to bring out the natural flavors, natural sugars within those coffee beans. Mm -hmm. And that kind of follows into our second question, yeah. is where are the beans from? We bring it from all over the world, Papua New Guinea, Brazil, Guatemala, here in the island, Maui, and from the big island. What would you say sets your coffee shop apart from everyone What makes else? it unique? Makes it the time and patience that my owner this goes into taking the knowledge from uh, and really fine tuning it. very meticulous in that, so we're very fortunate about that. Thank yeah, you so thank much. You the coffee garden is such a nice area to sit down and enjoy your coffee, with plenty of room for the little ones to run around. They also offer tours of the garden. We got the drink that the barista recommended, which was the toasted marshmallow. marshmallow the toasted marshmallow mocha. It's good. Oh yeah, it it tastes like um like an adult chocolate milk ice, Just sweet but not too sweet. If you come here, I recommend getting the toasted marshmallow mocha, 10 out of 10. We tasted some incredible coffee blends and learned what made each establishment special. If you guys are planning a trip to Oahu or live here on the island, we highly recommend any of these coffee shops. And don't forget to leave a comment below telling us which coffee shop was your favorite and why. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more food and travel content on Oahu. Until next time.